All right, what's this? Ka Ka crazy ideas Kahu has. Crazy idea Connor, has, Connor and the boys have. Uh, yeah, there's no... Um, the Would you know what's a crazy idea? Maybe I'll fucking read a meme first time. That'd be fucking crazy. Let me read that again, just so Mudan has a clean slate. Mudan, just pretend that this is the first read through. Let me do it again. <clears throat> crazy ideas Kaho has. Crazy ideas Connor and the boys have. Whoa, crazy. Thank God I... I got I read that correctly the first time. Uh, <laughs> this is true uh, because Kaho's had some of the craziest ideas. Um, Kaho is, I, I mean, I, Kaho's come to me with a lot of ideas. Um, uh, ideas I would never even conceive of. Some of them being, I don't know what I can and can't say. Kaho had an idea one time um, or just was floating the, Kaho just f floats everything in front of me. She's like, what do you think? You can just tell me if it's terrible, if you don't like it, is it too much? Uh, and I, you know, so I'm like, all right, yeah. Uh, one time, I was like, yeah, we should film this, like, Japanese uh, massage place. Oh, okay. Uh, so, like, what's the deal? What's, like, what makes it, like, special? She's like, oh, well, well, the girls get to nut. And I was like, come, come again? What? Yeah, and she was like, oh, well... So, like, the whole point of this massage, you know, I mean, like, there's a lot of places where dudes can go nut, but there's not enough places for women to go go nut. And I was like, okay. I mean, sure, yeah, I'm down. Like, I think that's, that. yeah, why not? Like, we should have both. If, we, if dudes can go nut, girls should go nut, right? I'm down. Uh, but, but where do I come into this? What do you, how do you, uh, how do, how's this going to go down? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, Kyle, I was like, even if, even if we could film this, uh, and someone would agree to not on camera and allow to go on YouTube. There is no way we can upload this <laughs> in any, any way. Um, but it, I mean, I was impressed because the, the place, they were like, yeah, we're down to show it. We got some customers who'd be cool. I was like, what? And I was like, okay, so I'm just going to watch sit in the, like, I'm just going to go there and I'm just going to like commentate from the corner. Like, oh. Sasuga, subarashi. Kono te wa subarashi. Uh, <laughs> what am I going to commentate this dude like blasting a woman? I, I just thought this was interesting. However, that's why I like working with Kaho because Kaho always brings the ideas. No matter what, Kaho will come uh, with the ideas. That was a really unfortunate placement of the word come there. Uh, Kaho will always bring the ideas, which I always appreciate because uh, I want every idea. Even if it's fucking crazy, and we'll figure it out. Um, we'll figure it out. If it's too much, we won't do it. Like the Dick Temple we went to. Not Dick Temple, Dick Museum, sorry. Uh, that we went to on the recent uh, video on my channel. That was crazy. Uh, and we couldn't show most of it. But I'm glad we filmed it, because we put it on Patreon. And uh, I don't know if anybody saw it. Um, yeah, that was a Patreon exclusive, but at least that was part of a video. We did get to show some of it. Has anyone seen that? Um, this dick museum part, I just wondering if anyone has seen it on my Patreon. Uh, it is insane. Um, no. It, Patreon here? Yes. Dude, it, <laughs> it's so, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's like an extra 20 minutes, this, this, this video. And, and it's just, uh, you, I think you pay like two bucks chat. I know it's, I know it's a lot. A lot still, but if you did want to go see it, I think I have it like set to like two dollars. You do want to go watch it. Um, you can literally just join the Patreon for two dollars, watch it, and then I think leave. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it charges you. I have fucking have no idea. Um, it is insane. Um, it, it dude, <laughs> this, this is this stuff. She, she held like a big. She had like at one point there was this giant tree trunk. It was in the shape of like a man's legs, right? Like if you can just imagine this, like a, a tree trunk that is split into two, um, and and the size of like a normal adult man, right? And then she she puts her hand inside this tree trunk and pulls out a massive wooden dick, and then she starts pulling it up and down. And she got. She starts going in Japanese. She starts going, Ah, yes, this fine specimen landed 
on the shore of Japan after it was fired from North Korea. And I was just like, what? What is happening? What am I doing? And it was just so awkward because uh, she kept being like, <laughs> she kept she kept going to like every every uh, adult woman who was there, which was Kao and another woman. She kept going, ah, yes. Make sure to use your vaginas now while you're young, uh, whilst you can still profit from them. And then Kao turned to me and was laughing like, oh, <laughs> she didn't know. <laughs> um, it was just wild. And then there was just, there was a whole room, which was just Marilyn Monroe, like naked, it was so naked, it was so weird. There was another room where it was like, like imagine if the Titans from Attack on Titan decided they were going to shrink, but they were going to keep the form they had. And that they were going to become uh, very odd uh, Nordic art pieces uh, that convey sexualism. Uh, that's the only way that you can kind of understand uh, how weird these things were. It's the weird. It's the weirdest thing ever, chat. If you're ever in Gunma, go check it out. That room was pretty weird. It was. It was just uncomfortable. It, it, like if you like, <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> Poor Mudan. Mudan, I, I asked him initially, I was like, hey, we're going to do this video. Uh, and um, I gave him the footage and I was like, so could we like blur everything but me and Kaho? Like, no, I'm not doing that. That's going to take 10 years. And I was like, oh, he's like, I'll do I'll do that a little bit. And then we're going to have to just cut the rest of the section. Uh, I was like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It, it, all of it, all of it needs to be blurred. The entire entire like four rooms of this was just dicks balls and vaginas it's insane i've never seen anything like it and this woman was just insane the stuff she was saying was certified unhinged i'd, I'd never it was, i'd never been i'd never seen like somebody talk like they were the for you twitter page it, it, it was in, it was unhinged I, I was i was impressed uh, it, like, he, it was really impressive, quite frankly. Uh, the dedication was wild as well. And they had that, they had like a stone. They had some kind of carving that was from dicks. I, I don't know how they did it. it. It was all weird to me. That video is also monetized, but I guess we didn't show anything. So thank God for that. Uh, you should just go watch the video. You know, a lot of my, a lot of the videos, if you give it uncensored stuff, a lot of the time you don't really get like a lot. You get like a few scenes. I'm telling you, you get like 20 minutes straight dick and balls if that's what you wanted. Not mine, um, fortunately, because uh, nobody deserves to see that. Uh, but, th you know, just wooden ones. So you'll get wood anyway. <laughs> I honestly, I could have made another, I could have made a whole video just of that uh, if I could have shown that on YouTube. Uh, so thank you to the Raiders who just joined us. Um, really, really awkward time to come and join us. Also, another... <laughs> this is part of the review, by the way. Just because we're talking about extra video ideas. While we were eating uh, in the video, right, there was a scene... Let me just bring it up. Um, let's bring it up. <laughs> it, was so, it was so bizarre. While we were here, right, uh, we were in this... So we went to... We did a bunch of stuff, right? So if you haven't watched the video, go check it out. It was a lot of fun. It was basically a wacky weekend with Kaho. Um, we went to this restaurant, or like cafe. Okay. Now you're probably wondering, what is this place famous for? Uh, this is a, as you'll see when we open it up, uh, oh my god, look at this monstrosity. Look at this. This is so fucked up, dude. Oh wow. That's like avalanche or pasta. Yes, that is indeed pasta. Right. <laughs> oh god, man. Okay. Uh, let me... And dude, it was so like while we were there in that restaurant, two things I noticed, dude, the kitchen. <laughs> I had I had a direct view into the kitchen. Dude would straight up, you know, like you get those like uh those like uh little plastic bags full of spaghetti, and it's like normally enough for like four people. He was just dumping that in in, in the entire loaf. And this kitchen, it looked like it'd been through it. It it was <laughs> You know where, like, kitchens that you could clearly tell have been working hard for a very long time? They have, like, they have a look to them. It, uh, I don't, I, I, it looked clean, chat. It, it looks totally clean, but 
It just looked like it had been through it. Um, everything was a certain shade of like dark green. And, and like the cast iron had like, was no longer black. Uh, and they were just, I don't know. They were pouring this thing into the bread. It was, it was just, it was, it was, I'd seen shit. Anyway, while we were sitting there, uh, Kyle goes to the toilet and this, this elderly man walks over to us. Bear in mind, we're in Gunma and we're kind of, we're not really near anything and near a station. It's probably quite unusual to have foreigners around that area. Um, we're just sitting down and this elderly man approaches me. Uh, he starts speaking to me in English, but like, uh, not the best English. And he's like, oh, oh, uh, what do you do? I was like, oh, uh, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. Like, oh, do you need lawyer? I was like, ah, uh, uh, I'm okay. He's like, uh, visa. Do you have visa? I was like, uh, yeah, I got a visa. He's like, do you want new visa? I was like, what? I was like, I, uh, I'm, I'm okay. And he's like, I, I am lawyer. I get you visa. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. And he hands me his business card. And it's, uh, I've got what it's, it's not lawyer, it's, um, person who writes or reviews legal documents. It wasn't a lawyer exactly, it was like a, I can't remember what you call it. Uh, and he seemed like a bit of an interesting guy. Uh, and he was just very pushy about me calling him and getting his number. Um, uh, and I was just, a guy who walked back in halfway through this guy's pitch to me, and I was just like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Can I go now, please? Can I leave? <laughs> he was nice. And then he... He orders what I what we ate between like three of us, and it was like I I don't know he and, and and it came out and I guess he'd never been here before because he was reading his paper, and he puts it down, and then he sees this pasta loaf in front of him and he goes, eh? money, <laughs> super loud, <laughs> and it was so good, it was so cute, and it, dude he the moment he saw how big it was he had his paper he was like. Nani Sore! He was like, what the fuck? He was like, he was genuinely pissed off at how big it was. I can't believe it. And the dude had like, he had like a, a Saul Goodman-esque suit. It was like, it wasn't a, like, because a, a standard uh, Japanese suit is just like a traditional navy. Everyone wears it. He had like the, like the 60s, like kind of tan. It was like really, really interesting. Yeah, it was just Japanese Saul Goodman. That's who I met, actually. Damn, I should have got him. He would have got me out of some trouble when I needed him most.